If you have a clear want, it will take you much further. That's first point. Next point. Once you know your want, you got to go for it as if your life depended on it. Am I making sense? Go for it. How can we do that? Well, one way is to create different strategies to get what we want. But in each strategy, y'all know what I'm talking about? Each beat, you got to go all in. You got to go for what you want. That's part of the problem when I'm coaching you. I mean, minds or whatever the situation is. You come to me without a want. You come to me without drive. Nothing happens. But I'm trying to tell you something. When you go for what you want, miraculous things will happen with your voice. Miraculous things will happen with your body. You start doing weird kind of stuff. That's exciting. Why? Because your soul is going for what you want. Hey, I'm Jalen Saunders, the editor of The Scene. And I'm Elijah McClure, the lead reporter of The Scene. And today we're here with some of the finest actors and actresses of the theater department here at North Carolina <laughs> A&T State University. And we're going to pick their brains about the future of the black acting industry. Three. Hey, uh, I'm Taylor Williams. How you doing? My name is David Rand. Hello, all. What's up, y'all? I'm TJ Eaton. Hello, I am RJ Wright. Hello to the world. I'm Cameron Piggy. All right, so um, what genre do you believe most black actors are most represented for in films? Trauma. Comedy. Comedy. I feel like I feel that too. No, only because let's be real. Most of the top-selling comedy movies, Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, comedy. Name more. Name more. I'm gonna say art is feelings. Now, yeah, I'm gonna just say art. Like, I feel like art, art is, is 